Hello, my name is Masood Koker, and I'm the University Librarian and Keeper of the Brotherton Collection at the University of Leeds. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the report Looking Towards a Brighter Future, the Potentiality of AI and Digital Transformations to Library Spaces. The University of Leeds Library's vision for 2030, Knowledge for All, is a highly ambitious one. Within that ambition is our commitment to excel digitally and to actively embrace technologies for experimentation and to enrich our users' experience. For this purpose, and in May of 2022, we instigated a project on artificial intelligence and its implications on libraries. Dr. Luba Begova Morgan was recruited in the position of research officer for six months, who worked extensively on this project and developed the report. I will shortly hand over to Luba to take you through the report and also through some of the key findings from each section of this report. In the meantime, you can find my contact details on the screen. If you want to collaborate on any of these recommendations or on a future project, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you so much. Hello, and um, thank you for your interest in the report titled Looking Towards a Brighter Future, the Potentiality of AI and Digital Transformations to Library Spaces. Um, just to briefly introduce myself, my name is Dr. Luba Pirgova Morgan, and I am currently based at the University of Leeds. I specialize in the studies of images and perceptions, and how those in turn may impact behavior and other practices as related to people and places. The report that I'm presenting to you today represents the data findings from a project that was run by the University of Leeds Libraries um, in 2022 and 2023. The structure of the presentation will cover the background of the report, then provide some summaries of the various chapters and highlight some of the key findings before exploring some of the theoretical as well as practical recommendations outlined in the final chapters of the report. For the background of this report, the University of Leeds unveiled a visionary roadmap for its libraries called Knowledge for All, outlining its plans all the way through to 2030. A crucial aspect of this vision is digital transformation with a focus on artificial intelligence in libraries. This project acknowledges the dual nature of AI with general AI fostering discussions and innovation, while specific AI technologies offer practical opportunities for digital transformations in library spaces. The report acknowledges the potential of AI in libraries, both in theoretical research and emerging practical applications. The research methodology behind this report includes a desk-based assessment, a sample survey, as well as expert interviews in several rounds that um, were used to derive the recommendation for AI applications in libraries, as well as context-specific guidance for the University of Leeds Library's future development. So to start, um, chapter one is about understanding AI in the library space and what that means. This chapter delves into the history and diverse applications of artificial intelligence. AI is a multifaceted concept that extends human um, intelligence or enables machines to perform intelligence tasks. The history of AI dates back to the 1940s with pioneers like Alan Turing, However, despite its long history, AI still has limitations in replicating human intuition and understanding transient human behavior. It encompasses various technologies from expert systems to natural language processing. AI is by no means anything new and is already prevalent in our daily lives, serving as a powerful tool with a very rich history and a promising future. It has both theoretical and practical applications in libraries, including reference services, cataloging, and search optimization, to name a few. Chapter 
two, then actually delved into images of libraries and images of AI. This was specifically focused on expert interview perspectives. This chapter focused on the notion of images or the perceptions of the library space and what that means, as well as images of AI technologies as divulged by experts in the field um, from global places. So not just within the UK, but also from the US, um, from many, many different countries around the world. Chapter two was divided into two sections. The first section focused on the concepts of the library and the library spaces, and the latter section focused on the images of the AI technologies themselves and how those could be used in a library context. The chapter highlighted the evolving role of libraries from physical repositories to hybrid spaces that balance the physical as well as the digital resources. Libraries are valued as sanctuaries that offer organized knowledge as well as user-centered services. The following few quotes that I've pulled out um, are quite useful to actually see an expert's perspective of what is the library space. So according to Professor Andrew Cox, if we think historically, we thought of libraries as physical repositories of books and other types of information, materials, and so on. But in time, that changed a lot. In the last 20 years or so, towards spaces where people learn or can create knowledge. According to Solomon Tehani, we can say a library can be referred to as knowledge, the knowledge-based environment or repository where you can find all manner of knowledge and different views of life. And then according to Jean-Philippe Moreau, strategically speaking, a library is a wide range of interactions and services depending on users and depending on the library types. Particularly for university libraries, Andy McGregor explained that in universities, a library is a place where people go, where people study, where people interact, where work happens, where collaboration happens. And that's almost as important now as any of the content it provides, even if obviously the content the libraries provide is still massively important. The second part of the chapter then took a view at what is then an image of an AI in order to explore how AI technologies could be used in the multifaceted perspective of what a library is. AI is viewed as a tool for mimicking human intelligence and decision-making processes. Experts and non-experts have diverse perspectives on what is AI, which leads to varying definitions of the technology. One of the most comprehensive definitions that I personally like to quote is by Sandy Hervo, as seen here, where she defines artificial intelligence can be explained as the development of machines to accomplish tasks and reproduce thought processes that are normally seen in humans. This simulation of intelligent behavior is unique from other automations, as it requires the computer to use human reasoning or thinking to perform tasks. The key thing is, if it's just a set of technologies, to borrow Andrew Cox's words, we don't really understand like deep learning or something cool like neural networks, which even he doesn't understand and can't really say much about. Actually, what he says, it's something to do with an idea of a computer doing some things that are a bit human-like, like making decisions or something about that. We all have a view of that and therefore every citizen can be engaged. The point he's making is despite the various perspectives and images of what AI is, we all have some idea in our head, therefore we can all participate in this discussion, we can all engage with it, including how we would like to see AI and digital transformations within a specific context like the library context. So it all actually comes down to something rather simple. And that is that effective communication about AI is essential for its implementation in libraries. Having an open discussion, having that platform that enables this effective communication and discussion is the next step for us to move forward and see what would be best to go in the library context. 
chapter three then actually looked at University of Leeds Libraries perspectives on technology use in library spaces. This chapter presents insights from anonymous staff members at the University of Leeds Libraries regarding their personal views of library spaces and AI technologies. The library here is also seen as a multifaceted institution that goes beyond books because the University of Leeds Libraries are not just a repository of books, they have many projects evolving from physical to digitally driven spaces and anything in between. Now, some of the challenges that are still facing libraries include um, diverse user expectations because of all these services and offerings, offerings the library spaces have, as well as, of course, financial constraints with the moving of technology so fast and the need to balance multiple roles without losing the key aspects of what a university library is. AI technology can assist libraries in addressing some of these challenges by enhancing resource management, as well as personalizing services. The University of Leeds libraries are already exploring AI applications in digital learning, in digital humanities, in research workflows. There are many research projects that are currently underway or in plan that I have also detailed within the report. The following chapter, chapter four, explored the University of Leeds perspective data from surveys and interviews. This chapter presented data from surveys for user experience perspectives and perceptions and interviews for additional context conducted amongst University of Leeds students and staff. The majority still described the library as both a physical and virtual space. The library is valued for its role in higher education and research, but there is room for improvement in areas like partnership working and supporting users. Respondents generally supported the use of technology in libraries for information processing and staying technologically relevant. However, there was some hesitation regarding technology in areas like operational efficiency and addressing emerging skill gaps. The chapter also discussed the importance of the librarian skill set for the future, environmental initiatives in libraries, as well as things like ethical implications of implementing AI and what that means in the educational sector. Users expressed concerns about privacy, data protection, as well as the potential exclusions resulting from AI use. They emphasized the importance of AI complementing human interactions rather than replacing them. So in conclusion for this chapter, the University of Leeds Libraries aims to embrace digital transformations and open education. They recognize the potential of AI to enhance library services while carefully considering the ethical aspects and implications as well as the user knowledge and understandings of AI technology. So the library space is a space that can foster this new learning and open up this new portal. The final chapter was called Looking Forward. This chapter provides more recommendations that emerged from the data. They are specific to the University of Leeds, as well as some that were more general and more widely applicable. The general recommendations from literature and expert interviews were divided into um, two sections. There were theoretical considerations as well as practical approaches. The theoretical considerations were things like understanding AI in libraries, such as that research should begin by defining AI in the library context to establish a common understanding. Convergence of technology in the library to be able to recognize the synergies between AI technologies and the evolving library image. This convergence can potentially transform libraries into intelligent libraries or library cubes and present opportunities for um, technological testing in a much more stable environment. Defining libraries in the digital age such as being able to communicate the dual role a library has as repositories and community spaces, ensuring patrons access all available library services. 
And then there's also strategic planning to be able to develop a long-term technology roadmap to keep up with rapid technological changes, incorporate AI literacy into uh, librarian skill sets, as well as promote value of libraries to both users as well as the community. And then there is, of course, practical approaches that focus on the individual skills and competencies to adapt to an evolving AI technologies. Responsibilities for librarians, where key duties could include uh, providing current AI related context, uh, content, uh, procuring AI resources, ensuring data quality, obtaining AI tools, curating data, guiding users, teaching critical data literacy, designing AI mechanisms, um, and designing algorithms. Then there could be personalized services where AI can enhance library services by providing personalized recommendations, leveraging user data and speeding up reference services with natural language processing. Then there's um, reference and information services. In that area, especially chatbots can provide 24 seven access to information, freeing up staff for complex tasks. Libraries could also plan to introduce chatbots for support for staff as well as students, users, as well as library workers. Library space optimization, where the AI could help by tracking use patterns, identifying underused areas, or suggesting improvements for user experience. To enhance accessibility, where AI can create alternative formats for print materials, improving accessibility for patrons with disabilities, for example, or other reading. Balanced hybrid libraries, um, speaks about being able to balance the physical and digital aspects as the library is defined more and more as a hybrid space to communicate available resources clearly and focus on practical AI applications for user engagement. And then there is, of course, management of library collections. AI can help libraries in managing these by automating cataloging, suggesting acquisitions, monitoring usage and scaling their operations. There is also collection gaps that could be identified, as well as consortium management. AI can identify these gaps, suggest acquisitions and track usage, and it could also consider this um, consortium style management system to optimize funding and space. And then, of course, there is responsible and ethical AI that libraries should potential consider the potential risks and biases and issues with privacy and security when implementing AI. Safeguards must be placed um, in order to protect patron privacy and prevent misuse of AI in the library spaces. Then the report actually incorporated some practical recommendations for the University of Leeds libraries that had focused on enhancing efficiency, upgrading um, library services, skills and technologies, and streamlining decision making which were university specific challenges. So where to go from here? In today's digital age, university libraries face new challenges and they must adapt to meet the changing needs of students, faculty and researchers. To do this, they should embrace technology to enhance their services. And here are a few key points I would like to highlight just to consider. Assessing digital resources. AI can enable universities and university libraries to provide better service to adapt cloud-based technology. This allows users to access digital resources and services from anywhere, at any time, on any device, making information much more accessible. Enhancing user experience. Libraries should invest in technologies that improve the user experience. This includes virtual and augmented reality, mobile technologies, and gamification, which can make interactions with the library resources much more engaging and interactive for the users. For data analytics, understanding user preferences and usage patterns is crucial. Data analytics can inform decision making, such as purchasing decisions, resource allocation, leading to an improved overall user experience. And AI as a valuable tool, while AI may not be a new concept, 
it is an incredibly useful tool. That's why it's still around with a very long history. It has the capacity to process data quickly, identify patterns and make predictions. This can automate routine tasks, reduce errors and enhance decision-making processes. AI has a proven track record as a useful tool when used with proper diligence and consideration, of course. So it is very important to evaluate AI technologies based on specific library needs and seek expert advice when necessary and to that end. And finally, of course, evaluating the technologies because libraries should carefully evaluate the technology to ensure they meet their specific needs to seek expert advice and to consider the technology's track record to determine its suitability for the tasks at hand. Reliability also requires regular maintenance and updates to remain effective. In conclusion, while AI technologies may not be considered groundbreaking, AI does offer valuable capacities for libraries to enhance um, efficiency, competitiveness, and overall library performance. By embracing technology and making strategic investments, universities can enhance library services, provide better access to information, and serve their communities much more effectively in the digital age. To use the following quote, we have a knowledge-based system that can help take care of reference services, inquiries and questions on standby to answer those questions and improve the efficiency of the library and of those librarians. And also make the library power much more useful. Thank you very much for your time. If you are interested in downloading the report, feel free to find it at the following link on the screen. And if you would like to contact me for any further um, comment, question, or discussion, please feel free to do so at the email provided. Thank you again for your time and for your interest in the report.